Today, I'll be telling you the story of Disney and Pixar's new movie that's running on theaters in the United States and in other countries called Elemental. This movie contains the four main elements of life, fire, water, nature, and clouds. But the most important one, according to the main character, Ember, was fire. Ember's parents had owned a shop in her town in Element City called The Fireplace. And Ember first got to know that her parents were new to Element City and that they had to leave their hometown after a big storm hit there. It was very hard and her father gave the biggest blessing possible to his father, but his father didn't accept that he would be leaving the town. Ember realized that she was developing some anger issues while trying to help customers, annoying customers especially, and her father said, it's not about business. You can't make business with anger. You gotta build the connections with all the customers that want to buy from your shop. Otherwise, nobody will want to buy from your shop in the first place. And then one day, Ember actually couldn't control her anger and she tried to get away from the shop so that she could like build out her anger. So she went to her room but when she exploded with anger, the pipe started to leak and she met this water element called Wade. Wade was a, an inspector for Element City and he had put 30 citations since the shop had leaked and he tried to get away from her and he sent them to City Hall when Ember was trying to stop him but it didn't work. Ember felt guilty that now her father's everything shop would be shut down. And when he overheard that, he said, why didn't you tell me that this is everything to your father? And then Ember's like, how am I supposed to tell you? So they try to get it back, but the nature guy is unable to and says, we can't because he tries to distract them and then ember explodes again which makes him actually send it ember gets really mad at wade and a few days later she says send me to your boss and wade sends her to the basketball game where his boss was and ember meets up with his boss saying can you please 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 give us a chance to find out about this leak. But she had to ask this after because the basketball game was going on and she was getting very aggressive. Ember thought it was a very trashy game, but Wade said, it's not trashy, it's a very cool game. And after the game was over, she realized that maybe it was kinda cool. Wade's boss said that you have until Friday to find out about the leak. And she was actually planning to give her a chance. And she knew she couldn't take that chance for granted. So she took a parachute from the top of her, the shop slash house. And they go explore. They find out that the like barricade was broken because of the heavy waves and Wade says we can use the sandbags and Ember thought it was a great idea so they both got to work and they thought it actually worked but it exploded and it didn't work and that's when Ember knew she, they were running out of time and Ember also 
got to know Wade really well. They went on a date, which made her start catching feelings for him, which Ember's mom got to know about. And she tried to spy on Ember, but it didn't work half of the time, because one day Wade took her out to dinner with his family at their house, and there was a security guard who said you can't go in. But she tried everything to go in, it didn't work. And after, during the dinner, they played a game, Try Not To Cry, and Ember knew she would definitely not cry, but she actually for once cried, which was a miracle. And Wade had expressed the feelings for her, but every time he tried to, she would always change the topic because she knew she didn't have time for all this lovey-dovey stuff. That's when Wade's mom's family told about the time he got stuck in a sponge for hours, and that's why he had never liked sponges after that day. And then Wade's mom's glass broke, and Ember decided to fix it. His mom said that she was very talented and that she could get her a job as an intern for glass making. She was pretending that it was a good idea, but then she left the house with Wade and said, it's a terrible idea. She needs to take the shop over, even though she didn't want to. And Wade did everything he could. And they decided to fix the glass. Well, not the glass. The barricade with the crystals that she made. The crystal was honestly kind of pretty and it was very strong, as a matter of fact. I was able to hold it up for a few days, at least longer than the sandbags. But it broke down and that day Wade had said, you have to tell your father that you don't want to run the shop and you have to tell him about the shop being shut down. But Ember denied the offer and rejected Wade saying, no, I can't be with you. I have to run the shop even though I don't want to. Even if I am desperate to do this job in turn, I can't. And she tried to save them and Wade also came to help, but he got sucked up with all the moisture, with too much fire, and being trapped inside a room when trying to save from the flood that happened. Ember did confess that he, she actually loved Wade to the mom. And before that, she had had an argument with her dad, saying that she was the one who accidentally blew up the f place and that she actually cared about Wade even though that her father had hated water ever since the water rudely almost killed Ember's mom but Wade was saved because he was pretty emotional and Yeah, he started crying, which formed up his body in from little droplets to his self. And Ember was happy and confessed her love for him. And they had a little romantic moment. That's when she confessed to her dad that she didn't want to have the shop and that she wanted to become a glass intern, just like Wade's mom offered her. It was hard for her dad to accept, but she said that it was what she wanted. And Bernie, her dad, said, if that's what you want, then that's what you will do. And before she left for a place far away, she gave him the biggest blessing possible. The same one he gave to her 
his dad that he didn't accept and Bernie gave it back. As months went by, they came to visit and Bernie and Cindy was happy to see them. And she had said how wonderful it was to be away from home creating glass and with her boyfriend Wade supporting her. And the person that was crushing on Ember the whole time finally got a girl to himself, even with all the flowers he would give her from his armpits. Who grows flowers in their armpits? Trees do, apparently. Element trees. And it ended with a happy ending of them being united. Not permanently, but it was still a happy moment. And that made Amber realize how wonderful it is to have a family together and confessing that she actually didn't want to run the shop, doing what she wanted to. The moral of this story is that you can be anything you want to in life and life is about choices, but choices have to be reasonable and they have to be good choices. Some by choice, and sometimes you have to listen to others to make choices. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications while you're at it. I'll see you guys in the next video.